This is Surf Radio from the Standard Hotel, Hawaiian, with Lee Higgins. Surf Radio. There she goes, the Lars, and you're listening to Lee Higgins on Not Your Standard Breakfast Show. My special guest, Jeanette, has just joined me. Good morning, Jeanette. How good are morning, you? Good like, morning. Yeah, I'm very good. Thank That's, you for having me here. Yeah, isn't it beautiful here at the at the Prasa restaurant? I am always amazed when I'm visiting the Standard. It's yes. so beautiful. It it's like beautiful. magical. It yeah. is magical. Where are you from, Jeanette? No, where's I'm that from, from from Holland. Yes. Yeah. So, don't mind if I say something wrong or <laughs> if it sounds a little bit strange. But I'm from Holland, uh-huh. living in Chiang Mai since 13 years. Oh, amazing, yes. amazing. So, tell me what you're involved with because you're involved with a very interesting group. What's it called? Yeah, it's called Elephant Parade. And what does that do? Elephant Parade is a company based in Chiang Mai, started 18 years ago because of an elephant that stepped on a landmine. Right. And it was injured, it lost part of her leg, and yeah, an elephant with three legs can't survive. So she needed a prosthetic leg. But right. back in 2006, it was never happened that an elephant got a prosthetic leg. Right. There was no money, no knowledge. So something needed to be done to survive this uh, little elephant. Okay. And this elephant parade, this is not only based not only based in Chiang Mai, is it? No, it's a worldwide global company. Uh, we have our factory and our office in Chiang Mai, so okay. all the products are produced in Chiang Mai. So what we do is we are making hand-painted elephants. So that is how it started back in 2006, uh, because they needed money and to come up with a concept to raise money to help Moshe to get a prosthetic leg. They needed to come up with something. And they made a paper mache statue. And they asked a famous artist in Chiang Mai to paint a very nice design on this statue. Amazing. And because the guy was famous and they sold it in a gallery, it was people were in the queue, they wanted to buy it, but there was only one statue. So that was the start because of this little uh, statue that they sold. They made the second one, third one, five one. And that's how Moshe survived and got a prosthetic leg. The elephant parade is not little anymore, is it? No, no. It started <laughs> little, and that's also what I really like is, uh, is the the charm of the company because we had the artists all over Chiang Mai. We had an office somewhere. We had a warehouse somewhere. So it was all, uh, what is it, splintered? Can you say that yes. in Chiang Mai? Yes. So in 2015, we built a fi- factory and we had all uh, all the departments together. Uh, at Elephant Parade Land, we call that, okay. also in Chiang Mai. Okay. So now we have the artist, the warehouse, office, everything on one location. Fantastic. Why are you in Hua Hin? Um, since eight years, we operate a shop, an uh, Elephant Parade shop in Anantara, Hua Hin. Mm. And every two months, I'm here to visit the shop, talking to the staff, and I love Hua Hin. And Elephant Parade is not only selling small replicas, uh, small statues, but we organize uh, exhibitions. Um, I see it as a circus we bring in town. Uh, We have this exhibition for one month, two months, and we bring the circus to another town. And last year we organized this in Phuket for two months and in Chiang Mai for two months. And it was a huge success. So people can just come and look at all these beautifully ornate, Elephants, can't they? Yes, correct. So we bring 35 full size. 35 full size. size so elephant when you say, statues. When you say full size, what yeah. does full size mean? Yeah, so normally an elephant is about, an Asian elephant is about 3 meters high. Yes. Our full size is not 3 meters, no. but it's 1 meter 50. That's 1 so meter 50 high. Yeah, so 35 pieces in beautiful designs painted by local artists, celebrities. So we bring them to Hua Hin and we display play them on different locations in the city. Right. Um, that will be held from the 12th of October till the 22nd of November. And yeah, that's why I'm here. And where is that exhibition being held? Um, so I, I found already some beautiful partners that are involved. So we start at Anantara because okay. I have the, um, uh, the shop over there as well. So they already own their own elephants. If you've been on the property of Hua Hin, they have about five full-size elephants um, 
there uh, displayed. Uh, but also Intercontinental will be part of it, uh, Pineapple Valley, uh, Bella Vida, uh, The Standard will yes. have an elephant. Um, now I'm talking to other partners as well, uh, Avani showed the interest. So at the moment I'm here to find more partners to be part of this event, to display an elephant and to be part of the treasure hunt that will be uh, some of the activities that we organize during this uh, five weeks. And you can purchase these elephants, is yeah. that right? Yeah, so we have these full-size elephants, they are for sale, um, but also the smaller replicas we are going to sell if people are not um, av available to have this big elephant, you can also buy the smaller ones. We, we have the, the shop at Avani, yes. but we also will have a shop at Blueport. Okay. Jeanette, it's been fantastic talking with you this morning, but tell me how it started. Yeah, the company started back in 2006 with Moshe, the elephant that stepped on a landmine. Moshe was the first elephant that cut his prosthetic yes. leg. That is a famous story, so her name is Moshe. Um, back then, all the money that we generated with selling elephants um, was going to Moshe. Mm. So in the beginning, it was like a charity a foundation. Uh, after some years, uh, it needed to change because mm. we had people who wanted to have also an income from Elephant Parade. So we became a social enterprise, uh, which means that part of our profit we donate back to elephant conservation. So many people ask me, how does that benefit the elephants? Where is the money coming from? So we have three different uh, business models. One is uh, selling our replicas, the smaller elephants, um, in different designs that you can buy in our retail shops, mm -hmm. but also through resellers all over the world, distributors buying it, so they sell it to gift shops, to galleries, to souvenir shops. So that is one of our um, money coming from. Yes. Uh, the second one is licenses. Mm -hmm. um, Elephant Parade is, is quite famous. Um, people love to use that in their CSR program, donate money back to some of our foundations that we work with. And the third part is uh, is the parade. It's an event that we are going to organize here in Hua Hin. Um, it's an exhibition of these full-size elephants that we bring in. Um, we have activities like workshops on locations so families can come for example, to Pineapple Valley. We will have a workshop there. People can paint their own elephant. We um, will get a famous local artist to paint on location, a live painting session. Uh, the treasure hunt. So we are printing a map of Hua Hin with all the locations where the elephants are uh, displayed so that people can, in their own time, um, try to find these elephants. Um, on every elephant there is a letter or a, which they have to s sign and then at the end there is like something, an outcoming a sentence that they can uh, send to an email address and then they are able to win a very nice prize. Fantastic. And when is this exhibition on? The, the start will be on the 12th of October uh, until the 22nd of November. So that is the timeline, uh, and then we are going to uh, have them all shipped to Bangkok, where we will have the next exhibition in Talat Noi from the 15th of December until the 15th of February. And how do people find out about this exhibition and ongoing exhibitions? Yeah, so we have a website, so it's elephantparade.com slash Huahin Parade, okay. where people can find the information. I try to talk li like to you yes. so that people know. Yesterday totally. I was at the Dutch community uh, just to have people known that we are here, that there is something upcoming. I hope also that the hotels that are involved uh, and like the golf course, that they are spreading the words, that they are doing some marketing um, campaign so that people also know that they are part of it, that people go there to be part of the events. What does a social enterprise group mean? What's the difference between that and a charitable organization? A uh, social enterprise is a company that aim to make profit. So we are not a charity and a foundation. I always want to make that very clear because people think that we donate all the money that we generate back to elephant conservation. So we are not. We are making profit. But we agreed with our charity partners that we um, donate 20% of our net profit, but with a minimum of 2 million baht a year back to their organizations. One of the organizations is the Friends of the Asian Elephants. Um, there is Moshe. It's a hospital in Lampang where Moshe still lives. He 
she she lived there her whole life, so we will support her till uh, she's going to die. Um, so every year we donate one million baht to Kun Soraida. She's an amazing woman. She, her whole life is dedicated to the elephants. So the Friends of Asian Elephants is one of our uh, charity partners. The other one is the uh, Elephant Family. An Elephant Family is a charity in London um, founded by Mark Sands. A beautiful organization who has many several projects in Asia. So it's all about Asian elephants. So it's not only Thailand, but also other countries in Asia where the elephants need uh, help. So we donate also the minimum of one million baht to this organization. But hopefully after COVID, we can generate more income, yes. more profit, so that we can also uh, give more back to this uh, elephant. So we and we say elephants. Um, Parade is a social enterprise. We combine art, business, and conservation together, uh, in which we generate money and to give back to elephant conservation. And you've got some famous people that are involved, like Katy Perry, Richard Branson, to name a couple of pe international personalities that yeah. are supporting uh, your enterprise. Is that correct, right? Correct, correct. So if we are in a city, and I hope always to find some context by famous people, um, our host, eh, like Katy Perry, we, we got a host in Las Vegas, and Katy Perry was um, having her acts in, in this hotel. And she was very enthusiastic, so she helped us making a beautiful design. But that's not the only one. Also Celine Dion is one, uh, Richard Branson, uh, Brian Adams. So we have some beautiful uh, celebrities who will be involved in this, uh, this uh, event. So also here in Hua Hin, I'm very proud to say that we... I don't know if every, anybody know him, but he is uh, the artist of an eye-catching art here mm -hmm. in Hua Hin. His name is Joe. Uh, and Joe, he's famous, but nobody knows who Joe is. Um, now, Joe, he made a very nice design for us on a, on a smaller replica, and he won our art box contest. And Joe is coming to Chiang Mai next week, painting his full-size elephants that will be displayed. One of the locations, I cannot say where ah, it is. secret, yes. Um, and then, yeah, so he is part of the event. So local artists, now this time here in Hua Hin, it's, uh, it's Joe, uh, yeah, are part of the event. So when the exhibition comes, like, so... You know, people can go to all the different locations because all the elephants will be all different, yeah. honestly, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a different experience at every location where the elephants are going to be, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so the people, they can get this, uh, this map in the hotels, but also at Blueport, um, and they can see the location. So for them, it's a very nice um, um, idea or moment that they can go to the standard, for example, because the elephant is in the standard. But normally, as a as a tourist, not staying in the standard, or as a local, not yes. being in the standard, you you are not having access to the hotel. But now, the hotel open their doors, can show their uh, property. And the guests can see how beautiful it is. So I hope that it generates a lot of uh, visitors, new visitors and maybe new uh, customers. My special guest this morning has been Jeanette from the Elephant Parade, which is an art exhibition that is coming to Hua Hin. So Jeanette, tell us about the dates and where people can find these beautiful painted elephants. Yeah, so it starts on the 12th of October uh, until the 22nd of November. Um, at some locations you can see them very uh, clear. Mm. So, for example, I, I can imagine Sentara, mm. who is a beautiful garden in front of the hotel. There will be some elephants displayed. So people passing this hotel, they can see it immediately. The standard, for example, probably not at the entrance, maybe more on the property itself. So people need a map. Mm. They need the map from Elephant Parade, which they can find at Blueport. I, I will try to have as many as possible uh, to display in other locations. I get help from Jonathan, uh, from <laughs> who are in who are today. In today. Yes. Yeah, so he will help me to spread all these maps mm. around. Um, so people, yes, ask for it. That's okay. one. And then on the map, all the elephants, the, the the designs plus the locations are pointed on this map, and people can just 
go around. They can do that in the five weeks, they don't have to do that in one day. So for people that are not well known in Hua Hin, it's like a, a tourist attraction. You Absolutely. can go to places where you've never been. Uh, for others it's like a fun activity for family. Yes. Um, yeah, so oh. people will hopefully see and, um, and think what's going on here and then ask what is there uh, so at the location. And your website again? Elephantparades.com slash Huahin. Fantastic. And we're videotaping this today for YouTube and so we'll put this up on our YouTube channel Fantastic. and on our Facebook page as well and we'll keep updating uh, what's going on with um, with the Elephant Parade on our Facebook page as yeah. we go through. But yeah. Jeanette, you know you sound so passionate and you're so it excited is. and you're it quite an inspirational is. person and I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic for I her hope, here. I hope so. And, I, and my experience from Phuket and Chiang Mai it, it, it was lovely. It, it connects people, it connects the artists, tourists are enthusiastic and it's for Hua Hin which is, yeah, it's it's something new, it's something exciting. So I, I, it's a warm bath being here and hear from all the people that want to be involved how grateful they are that totally. we are doing this. Well thank you very much for coming in and chatting with me today. Thank you very much for giving me the time.